All right, everyone, finally back for day two. We got the daily. I'm going to pop open the daily right off the bat, man. What do we what do we got? Oh, a little three star gam gam. That would have been nice to get yesterday, but I'll take it for the arena points and all that. Thank you. Nice way to start the day. Should be another uh, free crystal, the legendary crystal or whatever this thing is called. Is it called legendary crystal? I'm not sure. I want to spin this one. Hoping for units or energy refill or some kind of catalyst that could help me out. Hey, I think that can help me out. A tier four basic? <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to get tier four basic on a brand new account. And I've already got this one uh, that I just pulled, of course. And then the one from the calendar on day one. That's great. What a great way to start off day two, man. This is awesome. The game plan for today, I should say. Game plan for today. I really want to get more three-star champions. Oh, Gam Gam actually helps towards that. Beautiful. So I really want to get more three-star champions. That way I can unlock purchasing this four-star crystal from the incursion store and there's no limit on it and i could almost afford two of them right now we're going to do some more incursions today so i'll definitely be able to get two of these guys potentially more i need to get some better four-star champs i gotta rank up some actual good ones to help me out get uncollected potentially push some pack issues and stuff like that so really need to get 16 total three-star champions i think i'm at eight maybe gam gam was nine then i also want to of course continue the objectives because there's going to be more things in the bugle store for me to pick up these digital snapshots so got to continue the objectives almost done with the mutant one right there and then i think it's just a matter of pushing in story i was kind of surprised that i didn't make it all the way through act two yesterday i guess it's because of, i was doing halls of healing and the incursions and all that and that actually took quite a bit of time so we can do halls of glory as well this is zero energy cost gonna give a lot of iso but it's iso selector so i'm gonna try to save this towards the end of the day that way i can pick up you know the iso selectors when i know which champion i actually want to level up that's kind of the game plan and yeah we can just get started since i have full energy with some story content and this Man, will also beasts. give me the three star champions that i need with the end of each chapter here we've got we've got three star crystals bg did you claim the glory i did oh you know what let me check the other mail though if i got anything else in the mail today oh some rewards here level up i don't think i didn't i got like the bare minimum so probably just a gold crystal yeah but then cosmic combat I was grinding away all yesterday. Nice. We got the top 10 rewards. I was thinking it would be. So that gives a tier two class catalyst. That's important. We've got these solo crystals. Yeah, let's hope for some, some big XP boost, man. Let's actually pop these things right now. And I should take a look what solo events are today. Loyalty spend. So I better spend some loyalty. Get some of those free goodies. More cosmic combat. Wow. We only got an hour and 20 on that though. And level up, of course. Okay. All right. So yeah, we got to move. We got to move with some, some cosmic combat. Continue getting these. Let's pop these five solos. 40% XP boost. Okay. I'm really looking for that 50. It's a big deal because it lasts a lot longer, the 50% XP boost compared to the 40% one. So let's see what we get on these three. No, come on, man. Finkledink does not have the best of luck. I'll just pick up two more of these. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's really hope for a 50% XP boost here. Come on, please. Yes, thank you. We got one. Okay. I need more than one, honestly, but I'm going to pop this today and we're going to go nuts with this 50% XP boost. Oh, hello. Yeah, they even put these little three stars on the map. That's nice. That was the end of this chapter. We've got one more chapter in act two, but now that I've got a couple more three star crystals to pop, kind of want to rip these things open, see if I can get some synergy champs. I'm also going to take a look at the bugle store and uh, maybe we could have a mini opening here. I think I am going to buy four of these. So yeah, I do have a four star crystal here. Big stuff, man. Still waiting on that one four star to just really set the tone for the account. Here we go, man. Let's get those three star crystals popped open first. I'm going to spin them but just do quick taps here just honestly looking for synergy champs at this point since i'm already working with some four stars ooh, 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 ooh that's really interesting sorcerer supreme does have some good synergies to her and honestly just like i i might be able to make use of sorcerer supreme potentially here's what makes sorcerer supreme so strong this is what i was saying about mangog yesterday champions that have natural power gain i don't have that much health to play with you know to, to, to parry and take block tits to, to find openings that way and stuff so if i just have some sort of natural power gain i might actually be able to to work some magic with with three star sorcerer supreme we'll have to see on that one but let's pop open the second three star here and i see that magneto man i really want mags oh wow 
<laughs> That's also kind of interesting. If I can get Ronan awakened... Dude, that's Venom in uh, in Act 4 that I could stun lock. I think there's some resistor paths in Act 5. I may be able to use this guy too, actually. Very interesting. But here's the big one, the four-star crystal. Please, just let this be a champ that I can rank up. Please, 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 please. Something really good. Please, man. Please. I see that warlock in there. Um... I want high damage, a little bit of utility, someone that can even go through the variants. I think Ultron is is my number one pick. Let's see what happens. Come on. Come on. Damn. He's high damage, but that's about it. I can't really use I can't really use Nightcrawler for anything other than just a champ that can, you know, make it through quests quickly. That wasn't the champ, guys. That wasn't the champ. The search continues, guys. I, I need this luck to turn around. I really need this luck to turn around, otherwise this is gonna it's, it's gonna be tough, man. One last chance for for a four star here right now at least. Come on, man. Give me that four star Nexus. Let me get another crack at a Nexus, please. Mm. Two star Star Lord. So we gonna miss. Oh, hold on. Sinister Six assignments. That might have given me another four star actually, claiming another hundred of those. This is the last four star shards that I can get from this store. I'm gonna continue getting these this currency for the other things, but come on, man. Please let me get a good four star here. Everyone think Ultron. I would I would rank up that Ultron so fast. Let's go, man. What do we got? Claire. Please. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna hit me with this offer? After a champion like that? Get the hell out of here. Oh my god. All right, the next four stars, they're going to have to come from incursions. I will be able to pop open some more four stars, but I got to get the three stars first. That's that's the next play. But Bam really do doesn't make it easy <laughs> to, to have like a good start to one of these new account challenges, man. I feel like this is not I, I, like I'll be honest. I don't remember exactly how the, the past runs went. They happened a long time ago, but I don't think I started out with great champions the other times either. I think it took a while to get Sunspot. I think it took a while to get Doom. I wonder how far we're going to be able to get in the incursions this time around. Yesterday, we, we did all 10 rooms of Sector 1. Oh, wow. Champions are still on cooldown from yesterday. I did not realize that. Oh, there's four-star shards here too. Yeah, hell yeah. Vigi, how many hours a day do you play MCOC? Um... Like 20 minutes a day. Sometimes 30. If I'm really in the mood. Power shield might actually be good. Hold on. Yeah, tenacity. I'll probably take that one down. Yeah, let's let's take it to the left. Wait, wait, wait. That one has poison though, right? I think I can survive. Let's let's hope. Fights aren't that long. The poison probably wouldn't do that much damage, right? Does this guy poison even? Oh, there's the poison. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a serious poison too. Okay. That's not good. I really did not expect the poison to be that serious. GR, I might have messed up, bud. The nodes looked worse here. I probably should have ignored the nodes and just went for. Oh man, you might have had the you might have had the same idea as me. Uh, thinking that the poison wasn't going to be t that bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, good. Honestly, good, man. Now I don't feel bad. Bummer. But we got nine rooms, so. <laughs> exact same mistake, yeah. So we missed out on some golds and a small amount of shards and stuff. Slight bummer, but not a big deal. There'll be other opportunities even, so it's all good.
All right, calendar. Oh, there's a 50% XP boost too? This is perfect, man. Honestly, I'm so pumped that there's a 50% XP boost here in the beginner's calendar because I have one on today already and then I could pop that one for tomorrow. And of course, the four-star crystal that I'm about to pop open right now. Still waiting for that first good four-star to rank up and really go all in on halfway, not even halfway through day two here, but... This would help to speed up going through story quests and all that. So please, just let this be someone good. Let this be someone worth ranking. Come on. Come on. Who did I hurt? What did I do, man? Come on, dude. Why? Why am I being punished like this? MSD sent over a buck as well saying, Man, BG, that was rough. I had a bowl of alphabet soup for dinner, but that made me rush to the bathroom. I had a vowel movement. Jesus. Honest. All right. The big bad Kang at the end of act two, man. It always feels good fighting this guy. Because you don't really get to fight Kang in too many other situations, right? You get to fight him in like variant three. Um, and then the other very few times Gabam decides to use him. So let's have a good fight, man. Let's take him down invisible woman style. All right, Kang. R.I.P. buddy. Act 2. Done. Let's go open up some rewards. There we go. Level 25. Oh! You know what I get at level 25? The final uh, slot on your team unlocks. Where does it say it? Where does it say it? Dang. A lot of uh, catalyst capacity is being upgraded. Got the conversion badge. Wow. There we go. Increased team size. 5. Yes! It's a huge milestone, actually. Feels good, man. Couple of three-star crystals. What are those crystals? Hello. What do we have here? Three-star awakening gem crystal. Okay, and three-star rank up gem. Okay. That one I'm probably not gonna use. I wish these rank up gem crystals, I wish they actually like gave the ISO and everything too, but uh, just taking place the catalyst, eh. I wanna pop open the regular crystals first. I do have some shard ones. I am trying to save 2,000 three-star shards. Um, to trade in with the Black ISO market. So let's pop open these regular crystals first. APOC would be sick. Magneto would be sick. That is not sick. Dude, come on. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Taskmaster now? I mean, at least he's new. At least he's new. He, he counts towards the um, milestone that I need to reach to open up the four-star incursion crystals, but... Emma? Okay. I don't know if I can make use of Emma, but uh, certainly not a bad champion. And hey, another new champion, so fine, I'll take it. So I need 16 in total, and I'm up to 13. Okay. Let's pop the PHD first. If you give me a 3-star. But I don't want a 3-star, I want a 4-star. Four 4-star four Ultron. Come on. Just a 2-star max that I already have. Alright, let's go open the 3-stars. This could lead to... This could give me the, the final three that I need, as long as I don't get screwed. If I get three new three stars, then I can open up the four stars from the incursion crystals. And honestly, just hoping for new. New, but also synergies would be helpful. Heimdall, um, Odin, Apoc. It's a new champion. Okay. Vision Age of Ultron. That's, oh, that's huge, because now I can actually fight with a three star. Oh, Yes, that's actually really good. I could fight with a three-star vision for these stupid objectives instead of the two-star rank one, level one. All right, two more. All right, we need two more three-stars. Hey, didn't someone say I was going to pull Blade? That's the synergy for Blade right there. My luck is on a little bit of an upswing here. Here we go. One more new three-star, and then I can get the four. Anyone new? Anyone at all new? That's good, too. I can use this guy for the Starburst quest. Okay. All right, so now I can get those four stars as well. Should be 16 unless I miscounted. Yep, we're good. And I have enough artifacts to pick up two of these. This is why doing the incursions was important. Those champs that I just pulled as three stars, those are great champions to use as is. They're not champs to level up. Now is the time to pull champions to actually level up. So let's go, man. Here we go. What's it gonna be? I see a guillotine 2099 flowing around in there too. Can I use this guy? 
He got buffed. It's not bad. He's a villain. Is he bleed immune? Immune to shock and bleed effects due to his rocky body. Okay. I might be able to use this guy. That'd be an interesting one to go with. He is a villain. I might be able to use this guy. I I'm not sure. That might be a champ to rank up and go with, man. It's different. <laughs> it's damn sure different. Let's see who's in this next crystal here. Man, Terax. That's really interesting. I wonder if there's like a synergy champ to go along with this guy. I don't even know his synergies. I should have looked at that too. Well, let's see what's in this next crystal here. Might might have to commit to Terax. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, too. That guy also has some immunities. He's also... a villain. He's also... XL. He also has his own damn variant. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I was kind of just getting into the idea of going with Terax, but I do feel like Sentinel, he could take me further. If I can just get an Awakening Gem for him, it doesn't... He doesn't, I don't need Sigs. I can regen with his special three, which is also huge. Let's look at the Bugle Store. Are they generics or are they... Cla they're, yeah, they're not. And they're expensive as hell, actually. Wow. Let's rank up Sentinel here a little bit. Get him to level 10. And let me see what catalyst I need to actually rank him up. That's right, tier 3 basics. These are actually hard to get. Oh, I have 1405 four-star shards? Oh, well, you know what, guys? I mean, if I'm close to getting another four-star crystal, let me not worry about the tier 4... I'll, like, I'll do the tier 4 basic quest and stuff like that. I'll start getting the resources, working on Sentinel, but... Actually, let me pop the tier 2 class catalyst. Here we go. Hoping for some tech. We got two techs. That's really good. That's really lucky right there, man. New plan is this, guys. I'm going to hold off on the four-star crystal. Let's get Sentinel to rank two level 20. Let's plow through story content. And I'll save the four-star shards until I can target. Because maybe that'll be an Awakening of Sentinel or Guillotine 29 or some other tech or cosmic champ that can help me out. Oh, hey, nice. I got some more rewards for cosmic combat. I got, uh, I didn't get as high as I would have liked, but I didn't have that much time to play towards it today, so I'll take those rewards. Maybe that's another XP boost in there. Got my catalyst here, guys. I mean, I only got one catalyst from this quest, but completing that quest, the more important thing was completing the objectives here, so. Can you rank up, uh, Sentinel, or how close are you to ranking him up? Yeah, that's, that's the plan right now. I'm gonna rank him up. I, I think I have enough catalysts. If I don't have the class catalyst, then I think I can get one from the store, which, wow. Yeah, actually I'm missing one class catalyst. That's fine. It's only 90 glory. My first actual rank up. I've only leveled up two champions, Iceman and Sentinel. And this one is the first one that's actually getting ranked up. Oh, wow. New, new milestones here, guys. 17, almost 18 hours in. All right. Sentinel, carry the torch, my friend. First ever uh, rank two four-star champion. First rank two of any champion. So, I mean, I could get him to rank three. I could get a tier three catalyst right now too, and I could get a tier one alpha, but honestly, I feel like this is probably good enough for me to keep plowing through act three as it is. If, if it starts to feel like it's slowing down a bunch, then maybe I will level him up, but I don't want to go too all in just yet. Hey, leveled up, level 30, the big 3-0. Do I get anything cool for hitting 30? Uh, just some new catalyst caps, not really, but still, it's good. It's taken several hours to plow through Act 3. Act 3, I always forget how long it takes to go through it all. The increased energy cost, consuming many of my energy refills. Look at this, man. I'm empty. I think I got some in the overflow, but I don't have any on me. But we made it. We're here. Confronting Thanos for his crimes. I've seen the Avengers movies. I know what this guy's done. And we need to make him pay. I'm gonna start out with some class disadvantage here with Sentinel. My highest level champion, the rank two level 20 Sentinel. Looking a little bit wounded, thanks to Gamora. What a coinky dink, eh? Gamora kind of beat me up before getting to Thanos. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, I've seen the movies. Let's go. I'm not doing nearly, uh, dude, the damage is like non-existent. I might need to do heavy attacks just to apply some shock. Yeah, that, that'll get some more damage in. You know what, I'm really curious to see if he did have his special 3 active all this time. I'm gonna push him to an L3. Or kill him, one way or another. One of us might be going down here. Let's go, Thanos! Yes! Still don't know if he has a special 3 or not. 
But woo, Sentinel. All right, hold it out, man. 127 hits, that's not too bad. Thanks to those heavy shocks and the incinerates on the special too, because otherwise, man, I feel like my regular combos were not dealing any damage to that guy. Class disadvantage, his awakening ability, the armor up, all that stuff. But that's it, Act 3, finally done. That took so long to go through Act 3. We've got a few rewards to pop. We got some upgrades to the daily crystals. The discounted premium hero crystal, of which no one should ever buy. Where are those PHCs? Give me those P... Oh, yeah. There we go. Four-star shards, three-star crystal, PHCs. Good. The tier one alphas, put those to use as well. Good, good, good. I think these are my first tier one alphas, actually. Awesome, man. Let's go pop the PHCs. The three-star crystal and the PHCs. Let me see that, that white max for the pre-fight. Wow, so close to ghost. I may have actually been able to use Ghost. I'm not sure if I would have been able to or not. I don't know. Let's see what we got in store for the PHCs. Mm, just a two-star Cyclops. That's not going to do a damn thing for me. Any new two-star champion would help me get through that arena faster. It's not going to do it. Spidey? This might be new. No, I already had Spidey too. Wow, man. Come on, dude. Give me a four-star champ. But if I'm not going to get a four-star champ, at least let it be a new champ. Please... First four star from a PHC. The man loves beans. This account is cursed, dude. Give me a break. I finally get a four star from the PHC and it's Sentry. Come on, man. You know, I've said in the past, you should never be disappointed if you pull any four star from a PHC, but I'll tell you what, man, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Easy, Senator Buck saying, why are you waiting until tomorrow to open four stars? The dual class crystals, dude. I don't want to pop open Mystic or Science. Let me go see if that five star arena is there. Five star arena is here. This is the next big goal is completing this arena. So we're going to be chipping away at that. I think I could finish it tomorrow i've got a bunch of two star champs i'm not done just yet though guys i'm gonna blitz these uh halls of glory real quick there are much better champs in science and mystic you think so uh, if you can convince me after reviewing ant may and looking at all the different class types it seems about even between them actually right now and i might as well pop these things open before i pick the iso type from the, the halls of glory so okay fair enough let's get both of these and let's spin them out. And please, yet I still don't feel fully comfortable going with an unawakened Sentinel. So please, let this be something. Even if it's a dupe on Sentinel, I would go all in on, on the champion at that point. I really would like a villain or a mystic or a symbiote for the variants. I see a lot of Odins in there. Well, that's interesting. I can't tell if that's good or bad. <laughs> I mean, Corvus, we all know Corvus is a beast. We all know Corvus, he's a god. So here's the thing. I think Corvus is really good for going for uncollected. I think he, I think he is gonna help out there if I decide to rank him for that. However, what, like where can I use this guy in the variants? I, I, I can't carry him over to a variant. So once I get out of act five, the champion's dead to me because I can't bring him to Act 6. I don't know if I can rank this guy. Let's open the next one. We got one more here. Uh, I really... I, I, God. He would... Corvus would be so helpful for Act 5 and getting through there, getting getting through Act uh, 4 and all that stuff. There's plenty of places to find charges in these quests, I'm sure. If I get to pick my paths and I'm not exploring the quest, it's easy mode getting some charges, right? Planning that out, probably. But... The problem is, like, I just don't know. Like, I, I want a champ that can carry over and carry through to the variants, and he's not that champ. So let's see what happens in this, this next four-star. Let's go. Tapping it. What do we got here, man? Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. Well, 
Well, that ain't it. I was laughing because everyone saying to buy Black Widow deodorant for 150 units or 120, whatever it was. And I thought I was going to land on her right there for, for Man, free. You're so glum. If nothing else, he'll make everything faster up to Act 6. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is, what I, this is what's going through my mind. I have three of these selectors, okay? Three. This is far fewer than I had on the Unzo account. With Unzo, I, I swear I had like seven or eight of those things or something like that, man. I had a lot of selectors. This is one five-star rank up or one four-star rank up to rank five. Now, there are rank up gems from the back issues. So that can kind of fill in the gaps if I can complete one of the variants. Two to three generic rank up gem right here, right? But if I'm going for one of these rank up gems, that means like sentinel or some villain or something like that has to go to rank five so maybe i could take corvus to rank four and use him at rank four but i was hoping to get a villain or or like a crazy a mystic champion for this variant that i can take to rank five and use them a sustainable champion kind of thing like that's where my mind's at about corvus the good champ come on we all know he's a good champ absolutely let's throw corvus in let's see how he does at, at like rank one level one just just for fun just for kicks where can i get a charge there's a tech charge over there there's a mutant charge this way all right let's go down this way all right eleven thousand health let's see what kind of damage corvus can deal rank one level one 162 crits So this would be pretty good at a higher rank because I don't I don't know exactly what that would translate to but if I was critting without any charges for like let's say even double that damage Yeah, like that would be get the special 2 and fight. And that's with no charges. Maybe I do just rank up I mean I no I still, I, well, I still need, need to go to Sentinel for the variant thing but yeah, this, this could be a pretty good duo. Sentinel for the fights that Corvus is not going to be great at. And then Corvus for <laughs> every other fight. Oh, we got a tech champion here too? Dude, am I about to get a second charge? It's Green Goblin. Green Goblin, he can heal. This might not be great. But I gotta at least try it, man. Class advantage. I have one charge right now. Can gain a second. Oh! That's so much more damage than I was expecting. Wow, guys, I need to rank Corvus. I can't believe I got hit by that. I, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot, dude. <laughs> oh my God, I was just in shock at how much damage Corvus was actually dealing with the one charge at rank one, level one. Wow. Wow, 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 okay. I gotta rank that dude. <laughs> okay, I'm slightly more happy with Bullet Corvus. <laughs> All right, with that, that is the Halls of Glory finally complete. And I honestly do not know which class type of ISO I should take. I guess I have taken a lot of the tech already. So maybe I'll just take the, the cosmic. Maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's just take the cosmic. There is one final thing that I wanted to do tonight. A very fast quest, super fast, high energy dump quest. It is the normal monthly event quest. I'm going to speed through here with Corvus. I just want to blitz this quest as fast as I possibly can to unlock the final quest. It's going to give me the bugle store currency. All right, look at that. Unfortunately, I couldn't even make it through to this quest. Honestly, in normal, these quests should maybe just cost two energy or something. I don't know. All right, this I think is where I'm ending though. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pause the timer here. We are 11 hours, 59 minutes and 55 seconds into this 
live stream for today this part's not even going to show on youtube every i think everything every part of the stream can go back and watch but this final little quest here after the after finishing up halls of glory is not going to show but i'm in the normal monthly event quest just trying to finish this up to continue to get the bugle currency here the digital snapshots that way i can keep buying stuff out of the store i'll get both sentinel and corvus ranked up tomorrow i now have access to the five star arena which this five-star arena, as you may have guessed, has five-star shards and it has enough five-star shards through all the milestones to actually get a five-star crystal. 19,000 total base hero rating. I've got some masteries to uh, spend. I guess I'll pop those points in real quick. Added damage for Corvus for tomorrow. And yeah, that is a wrap for day two, guys.